uh, in the okay. relation statements okay for example uh, let's you work on the user manuals one person okay. one person okay you work on uh, function specification preparations okay so you start mm -hmm. later we will segregate we have total 20 fs okay let's see you write uh, 10 fs and this person mm -hmm. is working on some config and uh, those things so uh, you give 5 fs to him and 5 fs to me okay so okay. if you're not comfortable much in the interfaces let me take care about interface you work on the forms okay. So who will, who would be the in charge of these three consultants? People, that... One person will be senior, right? He will be like a MM lead. So he will be okay. lead consultant. The other two members are in his team. So he he can plan here the work. Oh, okay. So basically, senior consultant and Joe, uh, the rest of them are the junior consultants. Uh, junior or mid level. He has to plan the work and all. Okay. 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 Yeah, so in uh, challenges wise, yeah, uh, requirements keep changing. First, they say one form. After you gave this one, they will add, ask them to add two, three more uh, fields in that. Uh, initial, they say portrait. Later, they say landscape. <laughs> okay. And sometimes uh -huh. font size related things. But these are all based on experience. If you ask mm -hmm. more questions during form discussions, you can reduce the 10 to 20 percentage. You can reduce to 10 to 20 percentage. That's how experience oh. makes uh, impact because I know all these paintings in the earlier project. So I keep mm -hmm. all the questions in the initial meeting itself. So I, I come to at least 70 to 80 percent. We will never come to 100 mm -hmm. percent in the first shot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So those kind of challenges, like uh, always requirement gathering, not fully it will come, or else uh, the way of understanding differences, we need to have the communication gap, we need to reduce. Business may not think about each scenario, what they do every day. Okay. They mm -hmm. may mostly on the everyday transactions but not uh, rare cases they may miss it okay yeah, yeah. Uh, and unit testing we ask them to practice but they don't do practice more practice well because they say like oh. i'm busy with the operation today we have urgent uh, shipment I, I was busy so i didn't practice much so yeah. they will, uh, they may forget what uh, they're not practicing tomorrow they will ask a similar kind of questions okay Mm -hmm. So, and we ask them to, can you get all possible scenarios in this one? Can you take the real scenarios? So you practice with the real scenarios. So these kind mm -hmm. of challenges, we get it. Of course, uh, yeah. during development, if there is something complex uh, interfaces or complex requirement, which may have impact on other areas, we need to have, understand that if I implement this one, with any impact on other process? Okay. Someone asked you directly make this field as a mandatory in the purchasing document type. You need to see the document type is being used by any other companies. Okay. Any impact to other process. So these kind okay. of things, uh, you can consider like a few challenges. Okay. While okay. preparing the uh, function, the paper is not that uh, like understanding. Okay. They didn't keep proper validations and you might be missing the testing. Okay. You may not test all the cases okay sometimes yeah, when you yeah. on the forms uh, you may not test that all the digits but uh, he has to keep that uh, 13 quantity but he didn't keep because of space or something then it will happen okay. another way actually isn't it our responsibility to to do the testing for the like uh, the any form developments or enhancements mm -hmm. isn't it the consultant's responsibility yeah, to do that very few companies only they keep a testing department separately but in my experience, okay. mostly config testing, both I only did it. And few oh. big companies, they have a testing team. They just configure a development. They'll send a mail to the testing team to do it. So the testing oh, okay. team all do all the testing test cases they run and they share the results. Okay. So testing team means SAP testing team separately. There will be a separate yeah, testing separate team. They just do the what we do testing. Go to ME21 and create a PO until it is successfully created. Or we uh, go, uh -huh. those things only they do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So these are things, ABAP related few challenges you can highlight and uh, scenarios, uh, understanding the communication differences can one thing. Okay. And uh, the users are not giving more focus to practice and uh, to think about all possible scenarios. Okay. Because they are also not able to think. See, so you cannot say something if you are until you are well experienced and do having good command. Okay, if I ask you how mm -hmm. to cut this route, you may generic way you can tell, but you need to really give a proper way to the person. Then only the person can plan a better way. 
whether you are doing an event or whether you are doing a process whether you are going to some place or you are going for a vacation plan <laughs> okay mm-hmm. so how uh, mm-hmm. better you are have a command and how better analyze you do it so you will have a smooth one otherwise you will have some hurdle suddenly uh, you, you didn't know that one about the traffic okay everyone say like one hour is enough but yeah, uh, yeah. the city you know, one hour is enough for singapore the same one hour mm-hmm. if you plan for jakarta or philippines then gone so mm-hmm. these kind of uh, things we need to have that understand everywhere you cannot apply the same logic okay yeah, yeah, yeah. and about their yeah. traffic they uh, what kind of community they have and uh, how fast they the uh, immigration okay yeah. so, so an example that generic statement are not applicable for everywhere yeah, yeah. it varies from business to business yeah. business to business and all yeah okay so uh, and can you uh, give me any uh, like a real time example uh, during the implementation yeah, not that, implementation well, let's go development to question yeah, development that examples uh, we'll finish yeah. this one and in final preparation what kind of challenges uh, means uh, the data so business how uh, from the day one or uh, at least from the realization uat time onwards we keep asking their uh, data get all of your materials do the cleansing properly don't give the duplicate materials if you are having materials which are not being used for last 2 years or 3 years please remove mm-hmm. don't have to give to uh, currently now because you are not inactive materials right why do you make yeah. junk in your system but still you get lot of junk from them okay and uh, okay. initially they say like 5000 is last then they say like we have uh, 1200 more materials so they will add later okay these kind of uh, challenges the business data from them from our end you might not think that uh, the purchase order or else material master have lot of fields let's go for a uh, bapi program initially you didn't mm-hmm. estimate that one so you said like okay i can finish with lsnw but when you are mm-hmm. having this data on multiple kind of you are getting some errors at the next moment you are telling that one i think you need to have a baby program okay then it will take okay. five days more to develop and uh, to give the requirement to do the testing and all then it will be a uh, you were a wrong estimation right yeah so, yeah. yeah it's a good one <laughs> uh, initially you said like i mean i need four days is enough for my entire data yeah, but yeah. when the business is increasing the data you didn't estimate according to your experience of earlier project you have given only 5000 materials but this company has 20 2000 materials so you oh, okay. and also should be mature to understand the generic statements generic points are only applicable for training mm. not for consulting okay yeah. so this uh, is challenges you can but the lsmw is there any limitation how many records uh, uh, limitation wise uh, okay but only thing is when you are going more fields we are, if you are using recording method you will face uh, few challenges sometimes but uh, limitation wise i don't think i as of now i saw the 45000 48000 materials also okay. uh, exact figure okay. maybe we get it in some way technical one but maybe when we get like material views that kind of uh, issues then we go with the bapi yeah maybe when you are handling multiple screens and all we may face sometimes yeah, with yeah. certain things yeah okay then we it's preferable to go with bapi mm, yeah okay yeah Okay, so next uh, MTP. Ah, uh, MTP means yeah sequence. So UAT challenges means uh, yeah users will ah uh, suddenly they introduce a new scenario, then they will get error. You didn't capture that configuration or you didn't handle the in the program. Okay, initial oh, they okay. said serial numbers are always twelve. So you said like the SAP is giving serial number as eighteen. So you need to come give a uh, compatibility to handle till eighteen. Business says always twelve. Mm-hmm. So you also made it as a twelve. But suddenly okay. they on thirteen. They said like recently one one factory is giving thirteen uh, serial. <laughs> so oh, you okay. so always go with SAP standard uh, field. So you can say like uh, if they say nineteen, you you can say it's not possible. We need to handle the trimming or something. Okay. Mm-hmm. So those kind of uh, things you can uh, do it like you can highlight as a uh, what are the uh, different challenges we face it during you. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So, the next uh, one is the cutover. Like I mentioned, that the proper planning wise and the UAT time. So new scenarios, additions. Okay. So we have to okay. ask multiple uh, kind of uh, scenarios. We have to ask the user to test it. Imagine and uh, remember all of your 
scenarios what are all possible scenarios you have to apply okay so that we can uh, get the issue we can fix it now itself otherwise it will be we have to find during go live means it will be a panic situation and we have to run for everything right now we have a luxury time to have fix okay slowly yeah. fix it. even as at a time also we need to think about all possible forms interfaces okay so so that we can reduce the number of issues during uat uh -huh. If okay, we... sorry. Here I I have one more question during the SIT. So mm. uh, we have to uh, the script should be prepared, right? So we have to test to cross check with other modules also end to end scenarios. Yeah. End to end scenarios so, we need to test because uh, multiple modules will sit and prepare that SIT scenario. So from yeah. where it starts? And... Who will prepare that SIT? So all the consultants uh, yeah. sit together and prepare it. Uh, Sit and to prepare. Or we can them. Uh, in a process, we first understand that what modules are involved, right? So we yeah. can uh, ask them like, uh, you know, commonly we will have a Teams folder or something, right? In the same link we access. Okay, mm -hmm. from six to six to twelve, twelve mm, I will finish. Or uh, thirteen to fifteen fi, maybe one to five, uh, either SD or uh, PP, whoever the initial steps. Like that, we we fill it. Same script will be accessed by three consultants at the same time. Okay. May not sit in the same meeting and all. Sometimes we have a same meeting to uh, finalize the steps and to discuss accordingly. Mm. Okay. okay. Yeah. MTP. Uh, like whenever you are moving that all uh, TR transport to the right. Okay, transport to production. So here, this is the sensitive thing is like you need to keep all of your TRs in sequence. So whenever you create a TRs, at that time, only you have to start making your uh, sequence. Okay. Sometimes date wise, we may not able to tell uh, exactly because you might release first. Okay. So we have to keep the TR sequence properly, which will not make any mess up. So okay. TR sequence properly, how to keep it, which TR, uh, sometimes the numbering wise, one TR may be six. But uh, means you can see right TR numbering also you can identify which is old one, which is new one. But sometimes you mm -hmm. might first, but it is going later because still there is a long configuration is going on. In this meantime, we mm -hmm. did a configuration in another TR and you move. So that should be coming first, right? So TR sequence you have to maintain properly. Otherwise, if you get any fancy issues in uh, UAT time, if it is in quality moment, after moving production, if you are doing uh, similar things, whatever you move the sequence, right? same sequence you have to follow for production so that we are 99.9% .9 confidence that my TRs are in proper sequence. Okay. Otherwise, okay. it would be like uh, quality moved or uh, some sequence. Actually, proper sequence means uh, we have to send it to the, for example, if you want uh, to move it. An Excel sheet, actually, first of all, whenever you create a TRs, right? First year, uh -huh. second year, third year, fourth year, you keep it in an Excel sheet uh, so that uh, the same sequence can be used for UAT. 100% the same thing should follow for production. Okay, so when we send it to the basis team, we have to send it in a sequence, which uh -huh. one should go for. Uh -huh. we, we, we okay. Nowadays, everyone is using Teams, right? Teams folder, we maintain a TR list. Each sheet will okay. have one module. So each module will have a sequence. And also we'll tell that first uh, uh, FA TRs, then uh, MMTRs, then SDTRs, that sequence also we maintain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then cut our activities. Uh, yeah, cut our act. Just now mentioning about the data cleansing, everything would need to be done properly. Okay. When mm -hmm. you are before uploading, if you are uploading material master, we ensure that all material groups which are given by user are available in our SAP standard table or not. Okay. So, for example, uh, business has given some data. You need to check that all the material groups, P0, 24 purchase groups, T0, 23 material groups. Okay. So, you need to give all the material groups in this list and uh, check P lookup. For example, they have a unique material group, so 38. Here mm -hmm. also 38 unit of measures because these are all validation, right? Mater except material, yeah, yeah. I think most of things are. Uh, pre-configured are available in the system. So you cannot do whatever you, you want. So unit of mm -hmm. measure. What is the benefit of doing this pre-checking? So at least you, after you upload 25,000, you uploaded then uh, 750 failures. 
Mm. Then finding the 750, if your unit of measurements uh, missing, if your material groups is wrong, or uh, they they want to give something uh, material group uh, consumable, okay, because of uh, consumables, okay, because of spilling, what he put it. Yeah. Put yeah. This, okay. But with your power confidence or user power confidence, they give a consumable spelling, good spelling. Okay. okay. So it is wrong. They give 19, uh, 10 characters. So these kind mm -hmm. of small checks you can do. Uh, mm -hmm. Few things, maybe one or two issues you may get it. Material groups, table verification, unit of measure, table verification, purchase groups, verification, valuation classes, verification, profit centers, verification. These are all, if you do properly, then you can reduce mm -hmm. that number of issues. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are all uh, the challenges like business will not provide you some copy data. Sometimes they may use some VLOOKUP or some copy. They drag some copy formula, but they drag the values also. Yeah. Okay. So minimizing is something painful here. Okay, so cutover activities. Yeah, and the data upload, you need to estimate that one. When you're uploading 45,000, you, you will keep it in the background mode, right? So without background mode keeping, uh, if you want to run in online mode to resolve issue on online, you know, right, in the enter field, you will keep some uh, bolt or something and we keep waiting any error we fix in online, okay? So what are the benefit if you are doing and run uh, background, then all 700, 600 failures will be there. Then you need to extract the 700 failures and find out in Excel sheet and correct it. Sometimes in yeah, yeah. online means you will immediately find it, you fix it, okay? If you are not able, mm -hmm. uh, you don't have a proper idea about the data, then that only you can uh, skip it and go to the next entry. So you have to estimate okay. that initially that uh, 40,000 40, materials in your earlier experience, you 4,000 or 5,000 only uploaded. So for four hours, three hours, it, it took for you or two hours, it took for you. Okay. So you give that mm -hmm. one half day is enough for me. But when it comes 45,000, still it is going and uh, info record data is waiting for you. And based on your info record data, the purchase order is planned in the night or next day morning. Mm -hmm. But still, until March is running till 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. Okay. So, uh, yeah. so this kind of something uh, experience only experience can give that one, and also little smartness also. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, these kind of challenges you can definitely you can watch the video again. Okay. You can write down a good points, and you can also send to yeah. me. I told many things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because of the experience recently, currently always you involved in the projects. Okay. Even mm -hmm. the implementation also you would have seen it. I think around six to seven implementations I was working for the MM and WM. Mm -hmm. Involving in multiple other projects also, although I'm not working for each configure and all, uh, at least mm -hmm. some IT level and all. So what are the good points I have told you? You prepare like a bullet points, face yeah, yeah. and just and send to me the document. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, go live means yeah. For initial hyper care, you know, right? We will get a uh, few authorization issues, user mistakes issues, or else something a uh, little config you missed, but you didn't handle during UAT. That one. Or else, uh, when suddenly uh, multiple POs or multiple documents are running at same time, you get some kind of lock issues if it is a customized program. Okay, so mm -hmm. those things you need to act immediately. What is the preventive action? What is the corrective action? Because mm -hmm. as of now, everything you can go for a permanent solution slowly. You will have a luxury time, but after mm -hmm. that, you need to give some solution which should not impact the business. There will be a lot of trucks or everything will be pending, uh, waiting for you. So you need to give some yeah. solution to run it and simultaneously mm -hmm. have to work for a permanent solution not to repeat again. Yeah, yeah. since it's in the production already. Uh, so those kind of uh, challenges you can highlight. If I get something more, I can add. For now, whatever I told you, I think you can uh, list out. Hmm? Okay. Yeah.